With an hour and a half to post, there's no track in the country more packed than Oakland. Good evening. Welcome to Oakland today. I'm Frank Miramati along with Nancy Holt. This huge weekend. That's right. Today, the Essex 2-1 to one morning line favorite ride on Curlin looks to repeat his effort as he did last time out. I'll take away some of the suspense. The conditions, marvelous this afternoon. First race on the program for maiden three-year-olds. Claiming tag 25,000. Scratch number one. Top act. And they're off. Four run shot is going to the front. Forest Blaze has some early speed. Analog Man comes away in good order, as does Pete Schnapps, who moves up now to claim third. They're followed by Rags Boy, fifth, and five lengths off the lead. Bo Ziggity is at the rail. Then comes Irish Shinaki racing on the outside of W.W. Mutak Deem and Chanticleer Trails. Half mile from home, four run shot. Forest Blaze up alongside. Pete Schnapps makes a three wide bid. Then it's Analog Man racing in fourth. Irish Shinaki moves into fifth, five lengths off the lead. At the rail, it's Bo Ziggity with Rags Boy outside of him. Then Chanticleer and W.W. Mutak Deem at the back. It's still four-run shot coming to the quarter pole. Pursued by Pete Schnapps, three-quarters back second. Fourth plays backs off third. At the rail, Analog Man, Irish Shinaki is next. And then Rags Boy far outside heading to the eighth pole. Four-run shot. Pete Schnapps trying hard second. Irish Shinaki is in third. Chanticleer is finishing strongly on the outside. Here comes Chanticleer with all the momentum inside the final eighth of a mile. He and Irish Shinaki, Pete Schnapps, 16th pole. Far outside, Chanticleer and Irish Shinaki's very game. Irish Shinaki just in front. Irish Shinaki wins. Irish Shinaki wins the opener with Alex Berzer for Doug Anderson and Hootie's Racing of Brian Moore. Chanticleer loses a heartbreaker. The second race at a mile. They'll start and finish at the 16th pole. And they're off. Mal Guapo flies out of the gate. No spin comes away in good order. Wink at the Watt now rushes through at the rail. Corso's Law fourth through the opening furlong. Then comes Green Juice, Runaway Steven, AWOL Adam at the back of the pack with Mavericking three wide. Wink at the Watt will set the pace. Leads by a length and a half. Malguapo is in second. No spin third. Corso's Law fourth, but only three lengths off the lead. It's another four. Back to Green Juice at the rail with runaway Steven just outside of him. Two more. Back to Mavericking and AWOL Adam. Close to 15 lengths covering the field. Down the back stretch they go. Malguapo goes to put the pressure on Wink at the Watt, who maintains a head lead. No spin is right there. A length and a half back third. And then it's Corso's Law, fourth with four to make up. Runaway Steven, Green Juice is now asked for more along the inside with seven lengths to make up now. Mavericking is next, and AWOL Adam at the back. Into the far turn, Wink at the Watt, Malguapo, one, two the whole way. Just behind them, no spin, two behind in third, and now starting to inch after them. They're followed by Corso's Law, Runaway Steven, Green Juice has lost ground, Mavericking, AWOL Adam. Mal Guapo, the new leader, no spin, could not have had a better trip. Wink at the Watt at the rail is in third. The rest of them are scrambling for the minor placings. They're heading to the furlong point, and it's Mal Guapo trying to hold off. No spin, a length back second. Wink at the Watt is a tired third, then Green Juice and Mavericking. It is Mal Guapo holding on. No spin, still a length and a half behind, and Mal Guapo repeats. Mal Guapo just won here a couple of weeks ago at odds of 2 to 1, comes back now at 14 to 1 for Kim Poole and Gene Burkholder. Walter De La Cruz was aboard. The winner was claimed by Chris Hartman, AWOL Adam in a four-way shake to Kim Poole, and no spin in a seven-way shake to Carl Broberg. The third race for Maiden Phillies and Mares, three and up. All in. And they're off. Fast beginning for Divine Decree. Here comes Flying Stevie Girl now to take over. Just behind them, Wild and Untamed comes away in third. Cautiously optimistic at the rail in fourth. There goes Vision Bad, one from the rail, all the way up to claim the second position. Yes, I took a chance is in mid-pack with four lengths to make up. Tika Grove, Red Silks, far outside. Then comes Silky Lady. Lovely Levon is next. Legion's Victory is 12 lengths off the lead. The two trailers don't make her mad. And Bayadere around the far turn. Flying Stevie Girl leads it by a length to Vision Bad in second. 
It's two and a half more. Divine Decree is a joint third with Yes, I Took a Chance at the Rail in fourth. Then comes Tika Grove fifth, seven lengths off the lead. Don't Make Her Mad is trying to rally through traffic. White Cap with a quarter of a mile to go. The leader still flying, Stevie Girl, tackled by Vision Bad. They'll arrive at the eighth pole together with Yes, I Took a Chance tipping out three wide. Don't Make Her Mad continues to make progress extreme outside. A 16th to go. Vision Bad, Yes, I Took a Chance. Yes, I Took a Chance getting to Vision Bad in the final stages. Don't Make Her Mad still closing the gap. Yes, I Took a Chance. Here's the line. Yes, I Took a Chance wins it. Vision Bad second. A fast finishing Don't Make Her Mad third. Flying Stevie Girl was fourth. Yes, I Took a Chance debuted over at Turfway Park in January and takes care of business here, mowing them down at a big price with Alex Berger getting a riding double. Vision Bad also making her second start, completes a big exacta, and don't make her mad, rallies for third. That was the beginning of Classics. We'll be back with leg two right after this. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. At Steve Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, we know sometimes you just need a truck. And why not a Ram? The Motor Trend Truck of the Year for two years in a row. And you need the best selection. And you need the absolute best deal around. So whatever you're looking for, we have it. The largest inventory in the state. Shop us first, shop us last. Just make sure you shop Steve Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We'll beat any advertised price on any Ram truck anywhere, period. Lake Hamilton, historic downtown, Bathhouse Row. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first day on the lake, enjoying a meal fit for kings, or just being on top of the world, that's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. The beat goes on. Touchdown Arkansas got the jump, and it'll be Touchdown Arkansas. Five races sponsored each year. They're in the final furlong. Delta Flower under extremely confident handling is just toying with the competition. The best of Arkansas. Lady Lake gonna get there. Lady Lake will win a $2,000 bonus for Arkansas Breads winning an open company at Oaklawn in 2015. Delta Flower, do you know what I mean? Delta Flower will win it. The fourth race is for four-year-olds and up. Scratch number two, Big Sugar Rush. All set. And they're off. At bat, breaks out swiftly, as does bank account flashing good speed. Chatfield Road comes away in good order third. Five Seasons is the gray toward the outside with Fly by Dubai and Shredded Edge. Just behind them, Dixie Manor. Sea of Change is five lengths off the lead. A gap of five to launch light inside, no rules now, and a big gap to rises east, sets west with a half mile left to go. At bat on the inside, leads it by just ahead. Up alongside is bank account second, a three wide Chatfield Road. Five Seasons is racing four wide. Then comes Sea of Change in fifth. Shredded Edge is four lengths off the lead. Three clear of Dixie Banner inside, fly by Dubai, no rules now. Launch light, long way to rises east, sets west. Bank account, the narrow leader at the top of the stretch, gets a reminder and goes on willingly. Five Seasons is chasing him. Sea of change on the far outside. They are followed by Chatfield Road and Dixie Banner emerging late from the back of the pack. No rules now is finishing very strongly. Here he comes. Final 16th. It is bank account passed by Sea of Change, but here comes no rules now with a full head of steam to mow them all down. No rules now going away. Sea of Change, bank account, Dixie Banner. No rules now was claimed out of a dull performance on January 19th. Leave it to Chris Richard and Maggie Moss, both of whom love to win and do so frequently to get this horse to turn it around. Sean Bridgmahan mows him down. Sea of Change second, bank account was third. The fifth race at a mile, scratch five, Daddy Divine. 
and they're off. Buck Magic is going out for the early lead. King Cyrus has plenty of speed. There goes Fight the Power, and Dustin's Passion is up there, along with Saturday Night Lights. Five of them across the track, with Diesel only just behind them. Then comes Otis, my man, in the red silks, about four and a half lengths off the lead. Bottom line is just inside of him, and the trailer is Tiz Summer. Around the first turn they go, and Saturday Night Lights now goes on with it with Dustin's Passion, three quarters back second, fight the power in between them, and King Cyrus three wide, three lengths off the pace. Then comes Buck Magic, who's on hold through the first quarter mile. A length and a half behind him comes Otis, my man, outside Diesel only. Between those two is bottom line, and the trailer is still Tiz Summer as they run down the back stretch. Saturday Night Lights uncontested up top, leads it by two lengths. Dustin's passion at the rail, fight the power between them, and King Cyrus now asks for a bit more in fourth. Then comes Buck Magic in fifth, still six lengths off the lead. Bottom line is next to Otis, my man, who has ten to make up. Diesel only, and Tiz Summer has tailed off. Midway on the far turn, Saturday Night Lights is still there. Fight the power and neck back second. Dustin's passion at the rail in third. It's still a gap of four back to Buck Magic in fourth. Then comes bottom line in between horses. Saturday Night Lights has something left at the top of the stretch. Opens up to lead it by two and a half lengths. Fight the power took a failed run at him. Dustin's passion with one final try angling out and coming very gamely. Saturday Night Lights or Dustin's passion. Dustin's passion's getting to him in the very late stages and Dustin's passion prevails. Dustin's Passion takes care of business. Ricardo Santana Jr. aboard. Saturday Night Lights loses a heartbreaker as Chris Richard was looking for back-to-back -back winners. And the early pick four, another big one this meet, almost $9,000. We'll come back with race six in just a moment. Now playing at Steve Lander's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, the 2015 Chrysler 200, a next-generation mid-size sedan with best-in-class horsepower, 36 miles per gallon, nine-speed automatic transmission, and starting at just 21.7. Plus, the new Chrysler 200 was named a must-drive car of the year. Come see this year's industry blockbuster at Steve Lander's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram above the Rave Theater on Colonel Glen. And they're off. Win a King's Ransom in the President's Day $55,000 progressive cash giveaway. At the rail, King of Gold Street is running a big one, and here he comes. And see the first graded race of the Arkansas Derby Series. Get the finish line online and a $100 sign-up bonus with Oaklawn Anywhere. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. Get your $10 free play coupon at oaklawn.com. Here with Terry Wallace as we fast forward to Sunday's card. Terry, who will be your Sentinel record pick of the day? Well, the featured eighth race is the Vehicle Stakes, and I'm looking for number five, Mufaja, who is, that's the Arabic word for val happy Valentine's Day, as a matter of fact. Uh, Mufaja should be able to storm from off the pace and get another win, so I'm looking for the Pippin winner to come right back and win in the Vehicle at number five in the eighth race. Don't forget, all of Terry's picks can be found in the Sentinel record. The sixth race at six furlongs is for four-year-olds and up. The claiming price, $16,000. And they're off. Credit report flies out of the gate. Rock City Roadhog has some early speed. So does this one's for Phil moving through on the inside to take second. Lemon Juice in the yellow colors is just inside Dakota Digger, only two lengths off them. Then comes Ancient Rome, Homeboy Chris in the pink cap. Dr. Spin is only six lengths off the lead. And Nick's pick is the trailer. Half mile from home, it is credit report. This one's for Phil, one, two. They are chased by Rock City Roadhog in third. Dakota Digger will be widest of all. Lemon Juice moving up now to be a joint third. They are followed by Dr. Spin and Homeboy Chris, stride for stride with five to make up. Ancient Rome three wide in the trailer still. Nick's pick, they're coming to the quarter pole. Credit report, Rock City Roadhog. Dakota Digger on the outside. Lemon Juice once again looking for some racing room. Behind him, this one's for Phil, has weakened. Switching out is Dr. Spin for a late rally. And from the back of the pack, Nick's pick is erupting late. They're in the final furlong. And Rock City Roadhog emerges at the lead. Clear sailing for Lemon Juice at the rail. He's coming swiftly. In behind them comes Dakota Digger. And then Nick's pick, but it will be Rock City Roadhog. Handwritten late to win by nearly two.
Rock City Roadhog was claimed, freshened, and scored. That's two wins for Maggie Moss, Chris Richard, and Sean Bridgman. Lemon Juice, who had some trouble last time out, ran very well in defeat, and Dakota Digger finished third. By the way, in the fifth race today, bottom line was claimed by Cody Autry, and in the sixth race, Nick's Picks was claimed by J.R. Caldwell in a three-way shake, and Dr. Spin goes to Michael Beeler. The seventh race at six furlongs features the return of Gentleman's Bet. And they're off. Z Rockstar hustled out of there, but Gentleman's Bet also comes out very smoothly and takes the lead easily. Hoagie, third through the opening furlong with Unbridled Note, fourth and four lengths off the heavy favorite. Officer Alex and Bourbonized Trails. Down the back stretch and Gentleman's Bet in hand. Leads by three quarters of a length to Z Rockstar second. Hoagie in the green colors, a close up third with Unbridled Note, now four wide heading to the far turn. Big gap back to Officer Alex, who's more than a dozen off the leader, and Bourbonized a few behind him. Less than three-eighths of a mile to go. Gentleman's Bet just cruising along out there. Still in front, three-quarters of a length. Z Rockstar hard-pressed to keep pace second. Unbridled's note on the outside is a threatening third. Hoagie at the rail in for Gentleman's Bet. Now is asked the question at the top of the stretch. He responds gamely. Z Rockstar, Hoagie, Unbridled's note in the center of the track. They're in the final furlong, and Gentleman's Bet has something left. Z Rockstar running a valiant one in between horses. He just keeps coming at him. Gentleman's Bet, Z Rockstar, a final surge. Gentleman's Bet, Z Rockstar, Z Rockstar gets up to win. Z Rockstar has been here throughout my tenure at Oaklawn. In fact, I remember calling him opening weekend of the 2012 season. And he's just a true professional son of Rockport Harbor, owned and bred by Robert Zellner and trained by Donnie K. Von Hemel. You knew he was sharp.